So we know that with COVID-19, those who are older and have pre-existing conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and obesity are at a higher risk of getting the disease. So then why are so many young, healthy people ending up in ICU with this virus while others are asymptomatic? The answer could lie in your genes. Here to explain is our Nine Health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Good morning, Dr. Coley. So this is a very interesting development. Why do scientists think that there may be some kind of genetic component uh, to how someone gets sick from the disease? Uh, good morning, Natasha. Yeah, so the reason we first became interested in looking at genes actually came out of an observation we saw in Italy. Now, as you know, many families in Italy actually live together. So you have many siblings living together and parent children pairs living together as well. And what we saw was actually little clusters or outbreaks within families where people that were genetically related, whether they were siblings or parents and children, actually had the same course of disease. So, you know, two siblings were likely to get very sick together. On the other hand, hand, husband-wife pairs who are not genetically related were not as likely to have the same trajectory of disease, and one could have mild disease, whereas the other had severe disease. Now, we also know from other viruses like HIV that genes actually play a role not just in susceptibility, but also in response to infection. So both of these findings together made scientists interested in looking at genetic makeup as an explanation for these differences. So let's talk about this. How do genes affect the response of the body? Yeah, very important question. Now, we all have genes, but they're expressed differently in each person. And these variations are something called alleles. So what these researchers did is actually combed 25,000 different genes in the human genome and actually identified a few key genes that they think may play a role in the immune response. Now, the immune system is basically a system that sets off alarm bells in response to an intruder. And the, the intensity of the alarm bells or how loudly it sets off the alarm bells are determined by a set of genes called HLA genes. So what the scientists did is actually used a computer model, and this was done at OHSU, and they looked at certain HLA subtypes, and they looked at the SARS infection, actually, and saw that certain HLA subtypes, which basically determined how loudly the immune system set off those alarm bells, actually tracked very closely with the severity of the disease. Mm -hmm. So how does this information help us fight the pandemic, look for a vaccine. So that's really what we're trying to do with all this. And then the first point that I want to make is that we need human trials. So everything we've done so far with genes has been with computer models. And the NIH is actually undertaking a new study called the the COVID human genetic effort, which is going to really enroll humans and look at genes and try to understand this in the long term. But the idea is essentially to identify not just a single gene, but a panel of genes that could comprise a genetic signature, so to speak. So that, for example, if I came down with COVID, they could look at my genetic signature and try to tailor the therapy according to what my genes are doing. And similarly, they could try to design therapies to turn up and turn down the volume of some of my genes that are reacting in my immune response. Yeah, that would be a much more sophisticated response to the virus. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for your insight.